Okay, Project Aquaponics here. We're wrapping up with uh, planting out our beds. Did some last minute tweaking, got everything working pretty good. Let me give you a little tour here. This is my lovely girlfriend Britt helping me plant all the plants. We've been working on this uh, all weekend here. So let's see, let's see what we got here. This one here we got some corn planted out. We got some uh, climbing beans there. We threw in some marigolds. A uh, little bit of companion planting that helps diversify what kind of bugs you have around and keeps uh, pests out. It attracts the kind of bugs you eat, the kind of bugs you don't want to have around. And he don't forget to tell them you need to rinse the soil very, very gently. Um, just rotating it in the water and slowly massaging the dirt away uh, before you put it in the aquaponic system. You don't want to just throw your plants in. Yeah, we we bought our plants at the nursery. Some people will raise them with like a hydroponic type system in a inert media, but we just went ahead and bought them at the nursery, which is fine. You just have to rinse the roots out thoroughly. You can gently, uh, we got, you know, we filled up this wheelbarrow with water and gently rinse the roots. You can let them soak a little bit. I was using a hose on mine. But yeah, we got tomatoes, peppers, cucumbers, zucchinis. We got the, uh, this is the pond set up here. Now I went ahead and put in another pump from the last video I shot here because I found that my water flow wasn't quite enough. So it was a um, 1 8 horsepower sump pump that I added. Both of them are rated for about 1,500 gallons. But I think with the, with the uh, amount of incline I have here, that together they're just adequate for the system. So, you know, I got this, this one uh, actually works with a garden hose, you can see here. I got this little setup going on. And pretty cool, you can see. How much uh, oxygenation is going on there. So some people who question the oxygenation of the water you need to keep in mind that this water isn't just sitting in this tank. It's being oxygenated at every point in the system. Every point in the system, it's coming down the downpipes. When it hits the grow bed, it's being oxygenated. When it flushes through the siphon at a rapid speed, it takes air that's in the grow bed system with it. And then when it comes out the downpipe, you can watch this one right here. This is coming out like, well, that one's not coming out at full force right now, but when it comes out at full force, it's splashing into that water. So at, at any rate, constantly you're having water splashing in to the pond here. And then, of course, as it comes up the pump, and then shooting back into there, again, oxygenating. So should have plenty of oxygen in the system. we got a lot of water pumping. Um, the last thing we did yesterday that I wanted to tell you about, uh, it's recommended by some people, uh, especially an Australian guy, I forget his name, Murray, I think. Anybody following aquaponics knows what I'm talking about. And he uses a product called Seesaw, but in America it's called uh, Maxicrop, and it's, uh, it's a liquefied seaweed. Now, I went to an organic nursery here in Nashville. It's called Bates, pretty good nursery. Um, and they carried a seaweed, uh, a, a liquefied seaweed that's also combined with emulsified fish. And that's all they had, and I thought, well, you know, I don't know why it shouldn't work. So I went ahead and put that in. It's supposed to work miracles for your plants, and, I, and it's all organic, so I don't see why it should interfere uh, with the process. So doing a little experiment, we'll find out how well I'm going to be able to bring about the cycling of this system here where we got to get the bacteria established. So uh, I'll let you all know how that goes. In the meantime, Mike out.